Hi, I'm Paul Wilson. I'm the creator of Swing Machine Golf and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm going to talk about the different ratios that you need to learn in order to choose the right golf club for the proper chip shot. So, what is a ratio? Well, what it is, it's the distance you're going to be flying the golf ball versus how far the ball is going to be rolling. So, what we need to do is we need to calculate out how far it is to the front of the green, about a yard onto the green, because we're going to be flying our ball about a yard onto the green with each of these different chip shots. Once we understand that amount, we then look at our uh, pin placement, and that will tell us how many of those, um, uh, or how far that distance is compared to where we're hitting our golf ball. So in this situation right here on the front of the green here, uh, and I'm going to paste this off in a second so you see, but if you look onto the very front, about a yard onto the green, that amount is about the same amount I have to roll the ball to that first hole. So in this situation, that would be a one to one ratio. Okay? Each of the different pin placements has a different ratio to it, and it's very, very important that you understand this very clearly because you want to be able to choose the right golf club for the appropriate chip shot. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pace off these different uh, yardages so that you understand exactly what club to hit in what situation and understand the ratio so then you can use that into the future. Okay, so I'm going to pace these off for you. I'm going to start with this with this sand wedge. Okay, so here we go. I got a sand wedge here. I'm going to just pace it off to the front of the green and you'll get a feel for how far uh, it is to hit a sand wedge. So from here, one, two, three, four is the front of the green, and then five is where I'm going to be landing my golf ball. So I'm five paces to right here. So that's where I'm trying to hit my golf ball. Now from here, I'm going to pace it off to the, the rest of the way to the hole. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right here, which is pretty much at this first pin placement, I've got a one to one ratio. Okay, it's pretty simple. So at a one to one ratio, I want to hit a sand wedge. If you're someone that has a lob wedge and you want to chip with a lob wedge, feel free to do that. Some people like using their lob wedge better than the sand wedge. Some people don't even carry a sand wedge. I personally use the sand wedge, so at a one to one ratio, that is the golf club I'm going to be using. Okay, now let's take a look at the next the next pin. So the next one, I'm going to be using a nine iron. So right here, oh, right here, I've got a nine iron. So let's pace this one off and you'll see what the ratio is to here. So one, two, three, four is the front of the green. Five is where I'm going to be landing my golf ball. Okay, so it's five paces. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five to the first hole, which we just talked about. One, two, three, four, five. Right here, this is where I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. This is halfway between these two holes. That is a one to two ratio. So it was five to the front of the green, and this is ten yards. So this is more roll than how far I had to fly it. So one part fly equals two parts roll. That's a pitching wedge. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm at this flag here. This is where I would hit a nine iron. It's five yards to the front of the green, and then it's 15 paces to here. Okay, so it's a one to three ratio. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to understand how this works. You're looking at the front of the green, and then you're trying to look at the different pin placements. You try to determine how far it is to fly it onto the very front of the green, about a yard onto the green, and then you look to see how much roll you need, and then you choose the right club. So from right here, we're going to go 7 iron all the way to that pin way down there, okay? That is going to be a 1 to 5 ratio, which you'll see in a second. So here I am. 1, 2, 3, 4 is the front edge of the green. 5 is where I'm going to land my ball. Okay, so that's one part fly. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 1 to 2 
ratio. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a one to three ratio. One, two, three, four, five. This is a one to four ratio. This is where I would hit an eight iron. It's halfway between that hole and that hole. Okay, so now we go one, two, three, four, five, and now I'm at a one to five ratio. This is where I'm going to hit my seven iron. So I'm going to fly a seven iron about a yard onto the front of the green, and it's going to all the way there to that pin because I know a, se a seven iron rolls five times as much as I fly it. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We're again looking at the front of the green and then we're trying to determine what club to hit in what situation. So now I'm going to hit some different chip shots with the different clubs so that you can see how each of these clubs hits the front of the green and then rolls to the different pin placements. So we're going to start with our sand wedge first. We're going to hit the front of the green and go to this first pin placement. We know that's a one to one ratio. So this club should hit this ball to that pin. Okay, so that was very good right there. We uh, hit it within a couple feet with our sand wedge. So now we're going to go to a nine iron, and you'll see that this club, just in changing clubs, I'm not I'm not going to do anything different with my with my stroke. We're going to get this club to go to the middle pin placement because that's a one to three ratio. Okay, so here we go. So there you go, that ended up about a foot away from the hole with a 9 iron. So I'll hit a 7 iron now for you, and we're going to go all the way back to the, or all the way down there to that last pin placement. So again, if I hit the front of the green, the ball's going to roll all the way to the back because I've got a 7 iron, and that's a 1 to 5 ratio. So here we go. Okay, so if you take a look at that, that ended up a couple feet from the hole down there. So just keep in mind what we want to try and do. We're changing the golf club for the different pin placements based on the correct ratio. We measure this distance from here to the front of the green where we're going to land the ball. Then we measure that distance towards the hole. So we've got a one to one ratio, which is the first, the first hole here. We've got a one to two, which will be halfway between the first hole and the second hole. That's going to be a pitching wedge. We've got a one to three, which is the middle pin placement. One to four is halfway between the middle and the end pin placement, and then a one to five at the very end. Also keep in mind that if the, if the uh, pin, or the green, sorry, is uphill or downhill, you're going to add or subtract a club to make up for the slope. So if it's uphill, you add a club. So instead of a 1 to 3 ratio, maybe it's a 1 to 4 ratio. So you don't hit a 9 iron, you hit an 8 iron. If it's downhill, you take a club off or subtract one from your ratio. So instead of a 1 to 3 ratio, it's a 1 to 2. So instead of a 9 iron, you hit a pitching wedge. Okay, I, I would think the best thing to do is make a chart so that you understand those different ratios and then you can take them to the course with you and you'll be able to dial in the correct uh, club for the right distance. Okay, in future tips I'm going to show you the stroke. Now you've got the ratios, you'll understand how it all fits together. Okay, make sure you ask your questions, post your comments below. I'll try to get to as many as I can.